Hey friend, welcome, it's Michaela. So these last few days have been like really gloomy and cloudy and rainy and it's just been giving stay in the house and do craft projects. So let's make an ornament of all the books that I read in 2022. So starting out, I'm using my iPad and the Cricut Design Space app to just put pictures of each of the book covers of all the books that I read so far this year. My friend saw a video on Instagram of someone making an ornament of all the books they read in 2022, and she sent it to me and was like, this looks like something that you would love. And I was like, yes, absolutely. This is exactly something that I would love to do. So here we are making this ornament. I'll be sure to link the original video down below. Go check that one out. So this part took a little bit of time. I had to upload each picture one by one to the Cricut Design Space. There probably might have been an easier way to do this, but I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I was like, let's just do it this way. Once I got everything in there, it looked like some were missing. So I pulled out my book tracker to just double check um, which books I was missing. And lo and behold, I was missing literally all of the books from January. Another thing that took a while was just making sure that each book was the exact same height and the exact same width. So I used 0.75 for the width and 1.15 for the height. And then just making sure that each book was lined up perfectly horizontally and vertically with the rows and the columns above it just was crucial in making sure that everything was straight so everything would work out once we finally started printing these. Now that we have these books exactly where we want them, I'm adding these rectangle shapes here, the exact width and height of each of these columns. These are going to act as my cut file for my Cricut machine to read. Just to be clear, none of this has to be done on a Cricut machine at all. Feel free to just print out the book cover pages on just regular sticker paper if you have it and cut them out by hand. If you don't have sticker paper, you can always just print it on regular white printer paper and use like a glue stick as the adhesive. And here's what it looks like after printing and cutting. Let me just tell you, friend, this Epson printer has changed my life. The colors are so saturated and the blacks are so rich and deep. Like, it's just everything. On to the next step, I'm going to take my cutting mat, my X-Acto knife, and this foam board. And let me tell you, this one, she's a thick one. She's 3 and 16 inches thick. I wish it was like a little bit thinner, but it's fine. We're gonna have to just work with it. <laughs> So I'm just brushing off the paper crumbs that sometimes the Cricut machine produces after it finishes cutting. This board is kind of big, so I'm also just going to cut it down to like a more manageable size. And finally, I'm ready to start sticking the stickers to the board. And I was not thinking when I first started, I should have just stuck the stickers to the edge of the board. So then I would only have to make one cut each, but I didn't think of it until later on. So... <laughs> It's just gonna make my job 10 times harder when I go to cut these, which is fine. If you've ever had the absolute pleasure of cutting foam core board with an X-Acto knife, it's one of the worst experiences ever. <laughs> it's kind of awful. I absolutely low-key hate it. Um, yeah, this process, I knew going in what I was getting myself into, but especially because these books are so tiny, <laughs> It was just a lot. 
Whenever I'm cutting foam core for a project or something, I always use this metal ruler with this cork backing and the cork kind of acts as like a non-slip surface. So then it just keeps your project in place so then it's not sliding around when you're cutting it. So now that I have my strips cut out, it's time to start cutting out the individual books. Here we go. <laughs> And with that, all 47 books are cut out. At this point, my hand is hurting, my back is hurting. I'm questioning my life choices, but it's fine. They look so good. So we keep moving forward. We have to finish this. I'm committed now. So I printed and cut a second page of book covers. And this part is honestly optional. I like the way that the books look. Um, however, because it's going to be in a clear ornament and the back right now is currently white, I just wanted to print out the second book cover to then put on the back of the books. So I got these two different ornaments from Michaels because I wasn't sure which one would work better. So this bigger one is like more flat and the other one is just like more of like a regular ornament shape. I thought the books wouldn't be seen well in the flatter ornament so I decided to go with the like more round one. And here it is, the moment of truth. I'm finally adding the books to the ornament. And I was trying to test to see like if I would like the books in this ornament. So I was trying to see if I can get the book out, but that thing was not trying to come out. <laughs> Just in case I, would, I decided to switch to the other ornament, it was not trying to come out. So at this point I was like, you know what? We're committed, we're doing this one. And on top of that, as if I hadn't already spent more time than I really wanted to on this project, I decided to try to like, oh, Michaela, let's reminisce and put these books in in the order you read them. And so I started to try to do that. Then I completely forgot what order I read these books in. And I was like, you know what? No, we've already spent way too much time on this. These books are just going in the order. <laughs> that's it. It was just like, that's that's not a good idea. The last thing that I want to do is add 2022 to the ornament. So I just grabbed some vinyl that I had on hand. Ooh, not that one. That one's a bit, <laughs> that one's a bit beat up. Um, and so I'm just trying to pick like a festive color, I guess. I decided to just go with this uh, like rose gold color. So I'm just going to stick that to my cutting mat and measure out how big I want the numbers to be on the ornament. And then I'm just going to cut that out. Once it's cut out, I'm going to weed away the excess vinyl and use some transfer tape to transfer it from the vinyl backing to the ornament. A tip if you're ever trying to transfer things onto like a round surface, try cutting in, just making little slits um, without cutting your design, but cut into the transfer tape to help it like kind of wrap around the round ornament a little bit better.
And lastly, I'm just going to add this red ribbon so we can hang the ornament from the tree. Although this did take quite a bit of work to do, I actually really love how this came out. And I think it was just great to kind of see everything that we read right here in this little ball. I still have a few more books that I want to get through before the end of the year, so I might be making a few more of these <laughs> to add to the ornament. But it's fine, at least, you know, it has room to, to add a few more. Hey friend, don't forget to check out this video right here on the right hand side of the screen just in case you were interested in some of these book covers. I updated my reading tracker in this video and I talk a little bit more about each of these books. So go check that one out and I will see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!